All right, guys, this is my last video with my diamond team, and my favorite diamond doubles team is the hail team. And right now, it looks like I'm facing a person that really just caught legends and looked like didn't do anything with them. If you could tell me what language that is, that'd be great right, right about now because I am very confused. I have no idea what these guys are. But anyway, it looks like I can pretty much, I don't know. I really don't know. All I know is I need cast form. Unfortunate part is I can't use Earthquake throughout the majority of these teams, so using Mammoth Swine would be a little odd. But Jinx wouldn't be that good either, so I guess Ice Shard's better than nothing. Because, again, from the way it looks, this guy just caught the legends and just left them alone. And as for Rhyperia, that's just a random Pokemon. Maybe, maybe she caught, maybe she caught it, you know, and just evolved it. They were all caught in Master Ball, so we have Azelf and Cresselia, and a very bad internet connection. Yippee! All right, so now that Hale's up and running. All right, so. Luckily, Cresselia has the same name in almost every single language, so I could tell who's a Zelf. I was never good with these nickname things. So I'm just gonna kill a Zelf right now. And Walrein, I'm not sure if you've seen Walrein. I don't think you have. Walrein is my tank, and this thing, this thing's a beast. With ice body and leftovers, and it has really good EVs. And thanks to Toxic, you can pretty much see how Walrein utilizes a heck of a strategy here. And definitely would protect, at least Mammoth Swan could use Earthquake maybe once in a while. So let's see what this guy's gonna do. All right, Azel goes first and uses Psychic. So he did get an upgrade, because usually it would have confusion. But seeing all those Master Balls, it probably has action replay and decided to just maximize the TMs. Well, that hurt Azelf about halfway, I guess. Told you, Obamasone's physical attack. Oh, shoot. You want to tell me what was that? I mean, you have access to Energy Ball, and you didn't use it on the Water type? What happened? Ugh. This is ridiculous. Well, I guess the person doesn't really know what he or she is doing. I'm guessing she, because that name sounds like a she, but we'll see. There's no items on any one of my opponent's Pokemon, so pretty much, I don't have to worry about Leftovers, or Lumberry, or Focus Sash, or any of that garbage. Might as well have a Bomber Snow finish off. Crefidit? Can't tell if this is German. Probably is. Probably is German. Unfortunately, Toxic missed Cresselia, which could have been my quicker way of you know, diminishing this guy. Because I don't want this video to go over 10 minutes. I've always had that problem with this team. There's only one time it didn't because I faced, um, I faced the dude that was kind of like a rookie. He seemed like he had an in-game team. Brought out Palkia and cast form took it down. All right. Seems like even switchings can be safe for me in this match. Zell's out of the way. So that was kind of that was kind of easy. It did Psychic on Wall Rain instead of switching it around. Now Cresselia is using Energy Ball on Wall Rain, and that's just not fair. How do these guys get that lucky? You better use Toxic though. Oh freak! Yeah, I can't use Wall Rain like that. I'll probably switch. I'll probably switch it out because Cast Form is a major threat, as we all know. Because that's just how good it is. So Griselia is going to get a nice amount of damage out of Poison and Hail. And Walrein is just going to keep healing itself. Alright, but I'm going to switch out Walrein because the special defense drop could actually be my major downfall. And, you know, that energy ball did do a good amount of damage. This, even though it was a critical hit, I can't take chances. So Mesprit's out. When you usually see Mesprit, it's whether a sweeper or a trick room setup. Usually it's never any, any, anything else. But then again, I barely ever face Mesprit. Because a lot of people don't see a use in it, but I do. Stats are very balanced. So you can make it a mixed sweeper and 
even a mixed wall, if anything. You just gotta know how to use it. It definitely works on Trick Room. So we're gonna get rid of Wall Rain, and we're gonna throw in my favorite Pokemon out of this team. I'm sorry. Cast Form is just amazing. I just wish the internet connection wouldn't be so slow. Alright, so Wall Rain's out of here. And now we're gonna throw in Cast Form. Which I did catch, by the way. I didn't breed it. Don't ask why. So now Abomasnow uses Seed Bomb on Mass Spritz. And didn't hurt as much, but like I told you, Mass Spritz a lot more balanced. Which is why... Are you kidding me? Hyper Beam? On a Cresselia. So this guy did do a couple changes. You see, like, he was... It seemed like he was able to give some TMs to these guys, but... It still looks like he didn't even train him. I'm gonna definitely tell you on the info whether, you know, if Cresselia is a level, if Cresselia and the Psychic Trio are still at level 50, Articuno at 70, and Hyperior, I don't know where, but if he doesn't exchange passes with me, I'll just tell you or anything. Now, the poison is gonna automatically, like, really destroy Cresselia, but Cresselia is a lot more, def well, I guess the poison would knock it out, wouldn't it? So we're gonna use Choice Specs Blizzard, which in this case would be stabbed, and thanks to the specs, it'd be more powerful. Thanks to the hail, it's 100% accurate. I did give it Thunder, and in case none of you realized, under the hail, you know, unlike the sun and sandstorm, the hail doesn't cut off the accuracy of Thunder, so that's why, you know, I gave, I gave Cast Form, you know, the most powerful alternative. Especially if I end up facing Kyogre, it'd be a very nice thing to use against it. So Mesprit is about to die, and it will if Cast Form ends up going first, which would be very sad. It's very sad. So he kills Mesprit and leaves a huge dent on Cresselia. If we all remember, Cresselia can't even attack this turn. It's not supposed to. Yep. Hmm. Wow, it's like the narrator was just looking for, it's like the commentator was just looking for, like, the skit, like, hmm. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Cresselia is about to die, and it pretty much looks like this battle is mine. Oh, great, Articuno. I was not looking forward to this. But that's why I have Mamoswine. I actually sent him out for that reason. So, we're going to use Brick Break, and we're just going to keep using Blizzard. I'm not even going to switch out. Because, who knows, maybe I could score a critical and just knock it out. There we go. So, basically, who does the MVP go to? That's a good question. Probably Abomasnow for surviving this long. Because Abomasnow never survives long enough. That's why you usually see Focus Sash on him and everything. Mine just has a Life Orb. And I've seen one with a Choice Scarf. That was actually useful. To using Blizzard, Grass Knot, especially on the Groudon. But, yeah. Bomb Snow goes first. That means Articuno was totally not trained. Yeah, that didn't touch him, but Bomb it's not supposed to do much. Now let's have Cast Form do its stuff. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. Articuno is going to use... Well, guys, you kind of know that I won this. I'm just going to cut it off to cut off time. Thanks for watching.